How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Muso here with another video about Windows new update, which is 21H1. If you haven't received it already, or if you have received it, there is some information here that you need to hear. And I will explain exactly in this very video what this update is about and how it could affect your very system. Make sure you stay tuned to watch this whole content to figure out exactly what's going on with this new Microsoft Windows update. And I just got to say, if you find this video very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're interested in PC and tech stuff, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more to join this big, wonderful fan bam. But let's get straight into it because I want to talk to you about Windows new update, which is the 21H1 update that is for every PC. If you haven't noticed, your PC hasn't been sleeping well because Windows Update just wants to keep waking up your PC and it's trying to force this new update. So exactly what does this new update contain and how may it affect your very system? First off, I gotta say if you're new to PCs, this is nothing really new with Microsoft updates because when they update their PCs, it's kind of almost like a force update like anything else. They try to get you to install these brand new updates that they feel that your system needs. If you have an older build, a Windows 10, then this update is something you're probably looking forward because they're gonna remove that legacy Microsoft Edge. And no, I'm not talking about Microsoft Internet Explorer's replacement. Well, sort of. The exact thing I am talking about is Microsoft Edge's Chromium browser that will be installed in this brand new update. If you're not familiar with what exactly that is, it's just like Google Chrome, but on Microsoft Edge. And hopefully that makes a lot more sense because it does feature a lot of similar features that you do love about Google Chrome, except with this really heavy drawl from your RAM especially. And of course it's infamous in the PC community about that because I am guilty of it because I use Google Chrome myself and of course, you just gotta love all the neat features it has, such as extensions, your sign-ins, your bookmarks, your favorites, everything that is all jam-packed in Google Chrome, you can also do on Microsoft Edge now. Just recently, I switched over, and I gotta say, it's definitely been a massive improvement from Google Chrome because you get so tired of seeing how much space that takes up in your RAM, which is completely unnecessary. You gotta try Microsoft Edge's new Chromium browser. It's a much more improved browser than when you first got Windows 10 and it came with Microsoft Edge, which was kind of just like, kind of like, it was an improved Internet Explorer, definitely. It did not give the features that everybody was looking for in their browser. But Microsoft Edge is definitely a good alternative, but we're not here to talk about Microsoft Edge, we're here to talk about the update, and that's one of the few updates that is included in this very package. Another really neat feature that 21H1 does feature is the multi camera use for Windows Hello. And that's usually for higher end monitors where they have an integrated camera with use of another high end camera. That is one of the bigger updates that is featured in this very package. Another neat feature that this very update does have is that with Windows Defender, it will be able to scan your computer much easier without the heavy usage of your PC, meaning you can access your documents, your images much easier and without with much more ease. And it also lightens up or adds a little bit more features of the WMI and the group policy services that you use for your PC. So these are some of the very few features that you need to know before updating your Microsoft Windows. But yes, you sense the butt coming on and this is the very reason why. And before updating, I'm sure all of you who are familiar, or if you're not familiar with getting Nvidia graphics cards, because the GPU is new and it's now in the wild, they don't know exactly what to expect. Of course, you have people test it out and of course it does seem fine in the lab but how does it do in the real world and how does it do in the real world application this is what you need to hear 
and you got to really pay attention here especially if you updated your pc already with this new windows update package and if you haven't just listen to this right before you go ahead and update that install i know it's annoying when that pops up that scheduled install where it kind of forces you to install it but just make sure you hear me out on this one especially if you have some of this very hardware if you download this update you may receive the bsod that's right the blue screen of death and if you're not familiar with what the blue screen of death is it practically makes your computer unusable well, it's usable, but of course it's a software or hardware failure. And that's exactly what it is. So Microsoft pushed out this update. And if you have these following printers, you may run into this very same issue, especially if you're trying to print a document, print a picture or anything involved with this very printer. And it's not just one, there's several. Of course, everybody and anybody, especially you guys out there, fan band, because I really care about your PC and I don't want you to run into these sort of issues. But if you get this blue screen of death, it's something that you really want to avoid. And that very hardware that this may affect are Kyocera printers, Zebra printers, and I believe there's several other ones, but I will make sure to put it down in the description box down below so you can see that very list because users or Microsoft Windows users who have updated their PC with this very 2.1 H1 update ran into these blue screen of death issues. If you do not want to update because you have one of these very printers, I don't blame you. Just make sure you see exactly how you can avoid this very dreadful update if it's going to affect you. If you want to avoid this very issue or you want to avoid any force update make sure you see this first off i gotta say if you already installed this update i could show you exactly how you can get rid of it all you have to do is hit the windows button here go to that settings and when you go into settings go to update and security go to view update history and you could go to uninstall updates all you have to do is click installed on and then you will see right here when were your latest updates such as my latest update was the kb4 60 13 19 which is the newest update all you have to do is click right click it click uninstall if you want to stop this update from happening all you have to do is go to your windows updates pause your updates all you have to do is go to advanced options here and you could actually select the date until you want to pause your updates till the maximum they allow you here is up to 35 days but here's another option to do it make sure you go to edit through policy here by typing edit through policy you can see it pop up right here when that pops up you're going to go to windows settings here go to windows components go to windows updates and then after you go to windows updates as you go to configure automatic updates, go here and just click disabled and click apply. That will completely disable your automatic updates. And those are the best ways you can disable your Windows updates or force updates to your PC. Hey guys, I hope you found this video very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy content just like this and you want to join the big wonderful fan bam and you love talking about tech, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all my social media handles, make sure you follow this right here. It's not just on Twitter, but across many of the social media platforms, as you know. And fan bam, guys, what do you think of this brand new Windows cumulative? update are you wanting to get this update for your pc have you updated it or experienced any problems or do you want to wait for the next update and make sure they iron out these kinks i hope you found this video very useful thank you guys so much for watching this is chris mizo signing out